This is a demonstration on how to deal with a dirty geometry using fault tolerant meshing techniques available in Pointwise. So what is a dirty geometry? Well, a dirty geometry like this intake port consists of multiple surfaces that can be separated by cracks and gaps. And it's these defects that can prevent the creation of a watertight surface mesh without healing the geometry beforehand. So we select the geometry and go to examine boundary proximity. We can see that gaps do exist in the intake port surface. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to create a watertight mesh, basically a mesh with no holes or gaps for a dirty geometry such as this intake port without ever having to mess with the geometry itself. So let's get started. With the geometry selected, I'll apply a surface mesh. I'll then select the surface mesh, go to grid merge, enter our tolerance and apply. This will heal the surface mesh and make it watertight. I'll then cap off the ends of the intake port without the use of any underlying geometry. I'll then select all the surface meshes and assemble a single volume mesh and initialize it. With the volume initialized I can now take a section cut and look inside the volume. So basically what I've done is I created an initial surface mesh for the dirty intake port geometry. I then use the grid merge tool available in Pointwise to heal the surface mesh and make it watertight, despite the fact that the underlying intake port geometry has cracks and gaps in it. This is the idea behind fault tolerant meshing. Heal the mesh rather than heal the geometry. I then capped off the ends of the intake port without the use of any underlying geometry to do so. And lastly, I was able to select all the newly created surface meshes and construct a single volume mesh.